In this tutorial we'll be going through the basic on how to create an isometric 2D theme and generate a level using the example theme provided with Map Designer. To get started, open the Map Designer window by going to Windows and click on Map Designer. In the window that has appeared, type a name for your theme and click on Create Theme. You can dock this window here. Before we get into creating our first theme, go to Settings and make sure that Allow Rotation Toggle is switched off. In your project window under Map Designer folder, go to the Example folder and open up Theme 1, Prefab and Floor. Now select all the prefabs in this folder and click and drag them into the Map Designer window to create prefab nodes. Click anywhere to show the menu again and click on the Create Floor button to create a floor node. You can click and drag the nodes around as you wish. Now click the corner of the floor node to make a connection to the prefab nodes and connect all the nodes to the floor node. Right click and click on reposition nodes to arrange them. You can move the view using the middle mouse button or the keyboard arrow keys. Now click on the green generate map button and reduce the map size to around 8. Under the advanced options, set the floor offset position to X at 2.56 and Y at 1.28 and set the floor sorting layer multiplier to 50 and the wall sorting layer multiplier to 30 and the axis direction to XY. Now click the random design button. A map will be generated in the scene view. Now go back to the main menu and create a wall node. The wall node has four buttons. The top left, the top right, the bottom right, and the bottom left. In your project window under walls, select the four walls with BL, meaning bottom left, and drag them to the node window. Now connect them as we did before. Do the same thing with BR, meaning bottom right, and TL, meaning top left, and TR for top right. Connect them in this order. Now when you generate a map, you will see that the map now has walls. Using the same method, create a door node and connect the prefabs. The door node works a bit differently. As you can see that this door design already has a wall with it and this one only has a door without a wall. To generate a wall behind the door which only has the door design and to exclude wall generation on the door with the wall, click on the door node and make sure that all the designs which already contain a wall has the red exclude wall toggle as shown here. You will need to do this with all the sides. Now click on an empty space and generate the map again. As you can see, this door has a separate wall image behind it. And this one does not. That is why we need to set the exclude wall or include wall. Now go back and create a window node and connect the prefabs as we did before. On generating the map, you will see windows appear. Now let's create custom objects. With custom objects, you can add decorations or collectible items such as health kits or even enemies to your map. For now, let's only create decorations. Select the tree crates and connect them to this custom object. Create another custom object and connect the shelves to it. These shelves are facing in different directions and need to be placed accordingly. Set this shelf to the top right corner placement and these ones as well. These face in the other direction, so make them face the top left corner.
Now create a third custom object and add the tables to it. On generating the map now, you will see that all the objects have been created automatically and randomly. You can always edit the shape of the map and all the objects within it using the editor. Thank you for watching. For any questions, feel free to leave a comment below or contact me directly at my email here.